What's up guys and gals and welcome to BV Vibes where I love talking all things NFTs, speculation, and of course the market. So I actually wanted to, I actually just got off like three hours of being on other people's live streams. So my collectibles as well as Dino's had a ton of fun, but eventually I didn't want to make this video because there was a viewer on my collectible stream that brought up an extremely good point that kind of blew my mind as well as VV Arcade is another recent content creator. So you guys should check him out. That's another guy on the screen and my collectibles as well. We're all just like, wow, this just totally makes sense. And it's something that a lot of people, including myself, definitely overlooked. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, play it here for you guys really quick. I'll even turn it up a little as well so you guys can hear over the music. Though. Where's this so, comment? I want to want to bring it up. Is it, uh, uh, Kenji? It's a it's a little ways up. It's below straight MCP. Um, he's, oh, here it is right here. Yeah, Kenji, yeah, thanks. Was, yeah, I think that's a great point because it's it's true. I, and that's I might also double back too to why maybe Disney or some of the other bigger brands haven't done airdrops because they don't probably want to airdrop their stuff to bots. Potentially, they want to airdrop right. it to actually people that actually own it or KYC, yeah, they're true. legitimate users. So we, I mean, we could get stuff like um, like that here in the near future. Um, so I just kind of wanted to elaborate all that. So please, uh, the gentleman down at the bottom is VV Arcade. Please go check out his stuff. I just subscribed to him. I haven't checked out his stuff yet, but it seems like a lot of people like him. And then uh, that's me, obviously, in the top right. And then my collectibles, this was his live stream not too long ago. And wanted to give credit to Kenji because it was such a simple sentence, but it just says so much. And I'm just like, holy moly, this just makes uh, so much sense in my mind. So I actually just made a, uh, a couple points here, kind of just elaborating on like some of the stuff we could actually get with KYC. It's not just like, oh, you're confirmed and now you can cash out or now you can use like master collector program which i might do my own video on talking about master collector program and some of the things they could actually do um first thing is obviously the kyc but now that let's say you're your KYC, which means know your customer, you're gonna have all of your information on there. It's like your personal information, your driver's license, or you need to share that to confirm that you are who you are. You're, you are a person, not a random bot or a random person. And I think by the time we're actually KYC or the majority of people are KYC, VV could do things like actually more VV giveaways. They out that they, you know that you're a confirmed person, obviously you're not a bot. They could start doing um, some more giveaways that are directly related to that make it all through the app instead of some external like website stuff that they've done in the past to just make it much much easier um, also you can kind of connect your accounts with pre-existing accounts you already have so not just vv not just connecting kyc with like your vv account i'm talking like the marvel plus and like the disney passes i know uh, someone like dino has uh, disney passes like annually uh season passes that he has a Disney account for, same thing with Disney Plus. So if you're actually able to connect your VV account to Disney Plus or some of these like Disney Pass uh, accounts or whatever, Disney could actually start giving you uh, giveaways. Maybe there's utility tied to actually having your VV account connected to some of these other accounts. Same thing with like Marvel Unlimited, which I believe is an account that you can create to have unlimited access to all the Marvel comics that have ever existed, but in like a uh, digital format, like on your computer. So it's not like an NFT, it's just you could just read the comics as much as you want. Uh, same thing with like Disney, most recently AMC, if you're KYC, you can kind of connect your accounts, that'd be awesome. And then uh, crypto wallets, like if your VB account is KYC, it's going to be much, much easier, I assume, to, to cash out. I'm, I'm assuming that's part of the point as to why we can actually cash out um, to to cryptos because obviously it's all going to be connected we're all kyc so i do think having your account kyc is going to open up a ton more options for things to do not only for vv but also for the licensors too as well to make sure that you're getting it that's something i actually mentioned um in the video is that maybe that could be part of the reason why vv or disney or star wars or not vv or well vv as well when they do airdrops i assume like they might want to make sure that it's actually going to people and not to bots because you know maybe it not, might not look the best pr wise like oh disney's just giving a bunch of free stuff away to bots and stuff but if it's to kyc to counts it's going to make much more sense that's actually going into the hands of collectors of people that are actually on the app that do exist that are going to be able to use their services because in, in some cases it's actually cause it would actually cause disney cost disney money if they're giving away all these like utility nfts or utility pieces to bot accounts that aren't gonna leverage them, right? Or at the very least, rent them out to other people that can use them, which kind of brings me to my next point. Like if your account is KYC, it's gonna be that much easier to A, not only rent out your collectible, but also be um, the renter. So if you wanted to rent a, let's say a Walt, if your account is KYC and it has your bank account information, all that stuff attached, now you can either choose, hey, do I wanna pay in gems? Or maybe I don't have enough gems in my account, but I wanna pay, um, through my bank account or whatever it is just to make it that much easier for people because i do think vv is, is doing an extremely good job of making vv available to the masses people that are familiar with crypto can take advantage of vv and people that aren't familiar with crypto you know with cash out and all that stuff uh they don't need to do it they could still participate in the vv drops and all that other stuff 
Um, and on top of that, also, of course, tax purposes too, right? If you're doing KYC and you want to be up to date with your taxes and make sure uh, you know the government and yourself know how to track everything, especially if you're able to write off a lot of this VV stuff as business expenses uh, as a content creator or people that are using VV uh, NFTs as a business expense in some way, you want to be able to have a way to track that. And so having your account connected and eventually, I think VV did mention they might have some things in the future that might add some... Uh, tools for, to help with like tax purposes and stuff. So that might be a very nice feature here uh, in the near future. But yeah, I know it's a relatively short video compared to what I usually do, but it just completely blew my mind. And I'm like, wow, KYC actually opens up a whole bunch of doors because now there's actually a direct link with Vivi into an actual human and not just a bunch of these user accounts, right? Like that Vivi has said before, where it's like, oh, it's 2 million users or this many users. It's like, all right, but like how many actual people on here? And if and if Disney or Star Wars or any of these, or, a, or DC or any of these other bigger companies are going to do giveaways or give utility to accounts that they want to leverage to spend more money with them. They want to make sure it actually goes to real people and not just bot accounts or extra phones or whatever it is. So that's the stuff I'm really excited about and it kind of completely blew my mind. So to kind of just cover the points, more maybe more VV giveaways, maybe more airdrops, both from the big licensors as well as VV themselves. You know, give any kind of utility you can think of that Disney or DC or any of the other big IPs can kind of come up with for actually owning these and connecting your account with these other accounts like Disney Plus and all that stuff, Marvel Unlimited. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Hope you guys take care. Please double and triple check all of your guys listening so you don't screw yourself over. And I'll catch you guys next time.